video today then. So what we've now got is our composition with our source video and crawl lines pre-composition here. So there's our finished bit of footage. And the thing that sometimes when you're new to After Effects, um, people often ask is, well, how, okay, all very well, I've got my footage finished, but how do I actually get it out of After Effects? Because what happens is when you click File and Save As, all that's happening is you're going to be saving the After Effects project. You're not actually exporting your video so that you can use it. Okay, so the way to do this is you can go into Composition and you go to add to render queue okay i mean you can go to like export and then add to render queue as well uh, or add to adobe media encoder queue but what i'm going to do is just just to be clear composition add to render queue and what's happened now is we've opened up this new tab here okay now we're going to talk about um, compression in another session so i won't going to talk about it now okay um, but in principle what you've got is two options you can either render your footage out of uh, After Effects directly, or you can render it in Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, and if you click that, then it will launch Media Encoder. I've already got a Media Encoder launched uh, already, um, just so that it doesn't take time launching while we're in the comp this uh, tutorial. Okay, but yeah, anyway. So, what we're going to do is go into our render queue. Now, the first thing is if we want to render it out of After Effects, our options are reasonably limited. Okay, first of all, we can click on lossless. Now, if you uh, click on um, format options, you'll find that the animation codec, which is what we're putting it out in at the moment, uh, is very, very big file size. And the reason is uh, lossless means it's not got any compression at all. OK, or well, it has compression on it, but the compression isn't going to uh, actually reduce the quality of the video at all. So it's basically just going to be outputting it exactly as it is, like, like, a, like a raw um, raw image in Photoshop or something like that. Okay, and of course with uh, footage, you know that very quickly gets very large. All right, so what you can do is you can go into Format Options uh, and go into the Animation Codec, and you could select something like ProRes 422 for or high quality. Okay, um, now this is still going to be a big file size. This is the sort of the Apple um, priority codec. So if you're working on a PC, you might not see ProRes 422. OK, um, what you can also do is you can output it to render just the alpha channel. So if you're trying to output something on a transparent background because you want to overlay it in Premiere or something like that, then you there's bits you can do. OK, but we're just going to click OK for now. Uh, and that's our going to be our uh, our um, export uh, sorry, our, our render setting. So you can see rendering at 1080 by 1080 and everything else. OK, and then you can click OK. And then over here, you can output to, and you can talk, uh, call it crawl lines one. And then you can tell it where you want to save it. I might save it to my desktop and then click save. Okay. Now, what you can do is if you click render over here, you'll see that it will start to render through. And depending on, depending on the length of your clip and the speed of your computer, obviously that might take a little while. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop that because I don't want to render it out completely. OK, what I'm going to do then is come to this comp one custom quick time. And instead of that, uh, where are we? There we go. Now, if you can't see those, by the way, you perhaps just saw what I just did. Um, they weren't highlighted. So I just selected this with the little checkbox. OK, and instead of that, I'm going to queue that in Adobe Media Encoder. OK, and what you'll find now is if you go over to Media Encoder. Now you can see there's my crawl lines uh, clip. And what I'm going to do is instead of ProRes 42, I'm going to use a codec called H.264. OK, now, as I say, we're going to explain codecs and compression at another session. So don't worry about this too much. All you need to know for now is that H.264 is a really, really stable codec. OK, so it's, it's used all over the world and it compresses footage really nicely. So you get a, a nice it's not it's not the best. Um, but you get a nice kind of overall compression with without too much degradation. Um, but the good thing about it is that you get a, a much smaller file size than the animation codec or the ProRes 42. And the other important bit is that H.264 defaults to outputting in MP4, which is what you need if you're going to be outputting, if you're going to be uploading this to After Effects, uh, After Effects to Instagram, because um, Instagram doesn't like other codecs. It likes uh, MP4. OK, so uh, not codec, uh, other containers. As I say, we'll explain the difference between codecs and containers and, and what have you uh, a bit later on. OK, so what you can do is you can say, no, I want um, 
uh, a medium bit rate if you've got a long video um, which uh, you know reduces the file size you can see at the moment this is 54 meg uh, if I go to medium bit rate that's going to take you down to 16 okay now with these tutorial videos for example that I record on my my iMac at home these come out in uh, 5k because obviously it's a 5k screen well I mean it's technically it's 4k but you know uh, so obviously when I get these particularly if they're like you know 15 20 minute long tutorials and I get these into media encoder and I'm going high bit rate it's well over a gig sometimes two or three gigabytes uh, and I put them onto medium bit rate and what you find is the the resolution will still be the same so it still kind of looks okay it's just that the colors aren't quite as as rich and what have you but hey who's going to notice that so most of the time, if you're uploading something online, medium bit rate is probably going to be OK, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, it depends, you know, just just try it. Um, and then once you've got that, you can name it um, and you can see the file size and what have you, then you can click OK. And then all you need to do is click this little arrow and then it will start encoding. Now, if you're transcoding, which is what we call it when we take um, a clip that's in one format and put it into another, it will probably take a while. OK, um, again, depending on the length of your clip and everything and the speed of your computer, you know, uh, but you will end up with something that will work. Now, one final little thing. Um, depending on what it is that you're doing okay if you're going into our uh, settings again for output what you'll find is h264 the other reason why it's really good is that it can it uh, maintains these 1080 by 1080 proportions which is what we put in our original video let's look at something like um, I don't know let's look at QuickTime okay so the QuickTime um, codec okay you could select QuickTime but because QuickTime is defaults to 1920 by 1080 which is our HD footage what's happened is you've now got these black uh, areas on the side it doesn't actually um, use the um, the proportions of the the footage that we wanted okay so even the composition is outputting in 1080 by 1080 the output is going to be 1920 by 1080 because that's how it works all right so the other nice thing about h264 is it will maintain the proportions of the footage that you've output and again so that you've created and again that's really important if you're uploading stuff to uh, things like instagram where it wants a square format it's also really important if you're outputting things like 360 footage because 360 footage is in a, a, an equi rectangular which we'll explain in another time and that's um obviously you know going to be in a different format again so it's just important to make sure when you are selecting a particular output, output setting that the final file that you want looks like what you want it to look like and doesn't have any extra bits added on because that's the code that you've chosen the, the container you've chosen okay so there we are so there yeah, once you're happy with it then you just click this little arrow and then it will start rendering and then there you are so that's rendering out of um, after effects okay so as i say you can render it within after effects or you can put it into the adobe media encoder if you want to uh, I don't know why you would do, but you can render it out of After Effects and then drag that file into Adobe Media Encoder. It's entirely up to you if you want multiple copies. But yeah, anyway, there you are. So I hope that's been useful uh, and I shall look forward to seeing you next week for another exciting set of VFX tutorials. I hope this has gone well. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Nice one.